according to according to infosec institute.com http header fields are component of the message header of request and response in the hypertext transfer protocol which is http they define the operating parameter of an http transaction let's start with how to detect and how to exploit the header based restful injection so detect to detect header based rsql you need to use either burp suit or live http header which is the mozilla addon on the first i will show you how you can use live http header and after that how you can use the burp suit to inject in header based rsql injection so we have built small script here it is the header.php file now let's open live http header make sure that you have enabled the capture here let's reload it here so we have page is reloaded and i will go ahead and click on this reply and i will add simply pause after this mozilla user agent and click on the reply as you can see here we got an mysql syntax error which means that the current page is vulnerable for sql injection the exploitation is much similar to normal based sql injection now as we got an our target is vulnerable for sql injection let's try to let's move on to the next step and find the columns number of columns so i will go ahead and type here order by 20 minus minus and a a and click a there now you can use here either any number or any character i will use here a a oh uh, now reply add it here call so as you can see here there is unknown column count 20 now let's try to reduce that to 10 again let's try to reduce that to 4 now again try to reduce that to 3 so you can see here the normal page is loaded so which means that there are the three number of columns so i will use here union script here union select 1 comma 2 comma 3 So it shows us the total number of columns and now next step is to uh, check the version of database. So I will use the version number 2 as our version is greater than 5 you can use the normal SQL injection. So let's try to find some tables here table underscore name. that from information underscore schema dot table minus minus and hit enter now you can see here bunch of tables so I will choose the table let's check for the admin so here is the admin table So we got our table name as admin so let's try to find the column number of, uh, let's try to find out the column names here column underscore name from information dot schema columns where table underscore name is equal to admin minus minus reply so you can see here the columns are username, password, admin ID and admin email, admin pass, previous pass. So we need to fetch the information from username and password. So I will use the concat command here. Concat username comma 0x3a. Sorry, 0x3a comma password from admin minus minus 
reply so you can see here the username is admin and password is admin at and uh, there are the multiple collection of numbers and special characters so this is how you can use the live http uh, add-ons to exploit the uh, sql inject exploit the header based sql injection uh, so we have looked at uh, how we can use the live http header to exploit header based sql injection now move on to the next i will show you how you can use the burp suit which is much comfortable rather than the live http header uh, first of all you need to configure your burp suit so open your burp suit and go to here proxy after that option click on here and edit and make sure that your specific address 127.0.0.1 and click ok you have to configure your browser to go to tools options after that go to advanced then network then go to setting and manual con proxy configuration tick this and add http proxy as 127.0.0.1 and port as a 8080 and click ok now uh, make sure that your intercept is on let's reload the this so you can see here the uh, burp suit started capturing our traffic i'll go ahead and click the forward on the history tab i will click on this click on this right click and go to send to repeater so now here is the main part started now let's try to add a single part and click on the go now you can see here if you look at the response here mysql error you have error in mysql syntax so on the next step let's try to exploit it by adding order by order by 20 minus minus and single quote one a is equal to a go now as you can see here we don't have to look for look into the browsers over again and again like we are did in a live http header so you can simply just check the response here you can see here unknown column 20 let's try to reduce that let's say 5 click on go again scroll down and you can see unknown column 5 let's try to reduce it to 3 again go now you can see here the page is loaded normally which means that there is the three columns so let's use the union select 1 comma 2 comma 3 minus minus here you can find the vulnerable columns now let's try to find the version directly we know that we are running the version five greater than 5.5 here 5.5.32 now let's try some table name table underscore name from information underscore schema dot table minus 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 you can see here the number of tables but we uh, want only admin table so let's try to find columns here column underscore name information dot column here table underscore name is equal to admin minus minus hit enter and you can see here the username and password let's try to fetch information from this columns username and password so I will simply use the concat command concat username comma 0x3a comma password from information from admin minus minus hit go now you can see here we have successfully exploited a header based sql injection the username is admin and, and password is multiple combination of uh, special character and number so this is how you can use the burp suit for burp suit repeater feature for to exploit the header based sql injection